Hi, this is Jackie Murray with Ask a Tech Teacher. I'm your guide through these 32 lessons in the Structured Learning Technology Curriculum. This is third grade and we're in lesson 15. We're in the second week of creating holiday greetings. So this, in this one, you, uh, the students learn the skill or actually they know the skill, but they use the skill of creating a greeting card and then folding it like a, a typical card with a front and an inside and a back. So they make that kind of a card to share with family and friends. It's um, a little different from just drawing a picture on a page and then adding a note to it and printing that out. It's different from the stories they did last week. So it, it's an, another option for holiday greetings for them. They have done these before. They did them in second grade, maybe even in first grade. So they know how to do these. You're simply the guide. Remember, remind them that they know it. Remind them to think back to how they used to do it. They can compare notes with friends and then do, do their best on it. They're going to use either a, um, a, a desktop publishing program you have, like Publisher, that will give them a nice, a nice um, template to use. Or you also can get templates in Open Office, and Word has some templates. Even Avery Online has templates for them to use. So you pick the one that's available to you. Students are going to learn to work within guidelines. Um, they're going to replace images. They're going to edit text to make it say what they want it to. They're going to add some new images. They're going to do those types of things to a template. So they're going to learn how to use a template that they might not. They, they've used them before. It's Using templates is an important skill because they're very likely to run into templates as they're learning new programs rather than here's a blank space, start from scratch. So this is a good skill for them to learn. They're um, starting with a warm-up with keyboarding. Popcorn Typer or any program that has one row at a time. Their goal is 15 words per minute, so you want to remind them of that. And they have a speed quiz next week. They're starting Speak Like a Geek presentations next week. They're probably signed up, but if, if you need to go over that with them, do that this week because they're starting next week. Discuss desktop publishing with them. What does that mean? What projects have they done? And here are some examples that they did on desktop publishing, a template that, that they then filled in the spaces and edited text and maybe edited a picture or added one, those types of things. So th this was a desktop publishing program they used. And But what does that mean when you say desktop publishing? You What you're trying to do is give them knowledge so when they have a project to do, they can see, okay, is a desktop publishing option the best choice? Or should I do word processing or a spreadsheet or a slideshow? So you're trying to give them the knowledge to make those decisions when you're not there to say, OK, this project, we're doing a desktop publishing program. OK, so you're going to guide them to whatever desktop publishing program you use that has this template. Here's some options. Then they're going to fill it in, print it out, or take a screenshot and share. Here's directions if you're using Publisher or any program that has a card sort where you, you fold it in four parts and you have the traditional card. This is your directions for that. And I think, and this is how you fold it, and that's really about it. This, this is not a long program. This is a perfect one for them to do this card and then go to holiday websites that address the, the holiday that they're doing. And, and on your um, your class internet start page where you just have a list there for them to go to. They finish their card, they print it out, they fold it, then they go play some games on of holiday websites. A, a reminder, you'll have a student who is adding events like next week's speed quiz to the class calendar. The students will all have to add their Speak Like a Geek presentations to the class calendar. And um, anyone who didn't finish the writing project last week should finish that instead of going to the games on your Class Internet Start page. I think that's it. Let's see if I have anything here for students. I think, no, we're good. All right, guys. 
Let me know if I can help you with anything. I'm happy to answer any questions you post on the discussion forum. And um, have a great week. I'll see you in a week. Bye.